Here's a really quick introduction how to use Krita for animation. When you start it, you get this kind of interface. Of course, recent documents would be empty, but I have been playing with the software. To do animation, you want to change under Windows your workspace to animation. That way you get your timeline at the bottom and you do not see um, any things you do not immediately need. So we're going to create a new file and there are a whole bunch of presets but there's none for standard HDTV so we're just going to type in the 1920 by 1080 at 72 dpi. We're going to call this preset HDTV and save it so next time we can easily grab it from our predefined list. Create. Here's my new frame which I can easily draw on. And down here is a paint layer timeline. The layers appear in your layers panel. I'm working on a pretty small screen so everything feels a bit cramped but a bigger screen of course is much better. We can play it but it doesn't do anything because there's only one single frame. So we would need to add extra frames. You can do that by simply clicking on the clear frame button but if you do it when you've already drawn something that drawing will disappear because it will create a new drawing on the spot that you're at right now. So I'm just going to take a new drawing there, go to the next frame in our timeline and add an empty frame there. And we could take paint something else. And now we have two frames with different drawings on it. And we can play that and it will just if we go back to the beginning, play frame one and then get stuck on frame two. It really helps if we want to say we want to create a little animation and I'm just going to clear these frames to make something more simple. Say we want to go from a triangle to a circle. We have two frames and we want to animate between them. So let's drag this frame out to frame 6. So we have this at frame 0 and this at frame 6 and in between we want to create an in-between frame. For this we need to turn on onion skinning and by hitting the light bulb we can now see the next frame. There is no frame yet on frame 3 so I cannot see the previous frame but if I create a blank frame there we now see in red the previous frame and in green the next frame. The little onion here gets you the onion skin settings and in this case you see you have minus 6 and plus 6 frames visible. Minus 1 is actually a little bit too bright so I'm going to lower that. The length of this bar indicates the transparency of the previous or next frame and the previous frames are called, colored red, the next frames are colored green. So I created a frame in between, I had 3, I got 0 and 6. So I would then simply start animating in between. That's not quite right. So Ctrl Z is your friend or Command Z if you're on the Mac. Something that goes in between. And now we have three frames. And if we play it, we get sort of an animation with really low frame rate. But this is the start on how you can use Krita for animation. So how do we change brushes while we are in animation mode? Because we do not see our brush menu. Right-clicking gets you an interface where you can select all kinds of different tools and the settings for your tools. And with the little button down here, the label, you can select which ones you want to see. So I'm uh, painting, so I want to see my paint brushes. Or if I want to be inking, I want to see my ink brushes. You can also select your color here and whatever you want to choose. Let's just choose a really silly one, a pattern one. So I can now draw with a pattern. This right-click option to get this menu 
means you don't need to see all the other menus on your screen and you can really focus on the on working in Krita without any junk going around. And right-clicking outside makes it disappear again.